In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Investigator Islam or the liar likes a lot to publish Bible verses such as John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son or God is love. He also likes to say that Jesus is sinless and that, and that He never harmed anyone that Jesus is so peaceful. But is that true? If you ask Investigator Islam or one of the one of the other liars if you ask them how many gods are in this existence they'll tell you there is only one God Jesus okay is the God of the Old Testament the same God of the New Testament is Jesus Yahweh they answer of course Jesus is Yahweh otherwise there would be two gods the God of the Old Testament and the God of, of the New Testament and this cannot be they say the God of the Old Testament is the same God of the New Testament and his Lord Jesus la 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 okay great <coughs> why do I say all this because if there is only one God and this God is Jesus this means that every word in the Bible is the word of Jesus this means that all the commands of murder of terrorism in the Bible are the commands of Jesus Firstly, in the in the New Testament, in Revelation 2, 21-23. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. And I will kill her children. I will kill her children with death. This is the God of love. This is the murderer God, the killer, Jesus. Luke 19, 27. But my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, Bring them here and kill them, and kill my enemies, and kill them in front of me. God is love. Which would not, which would not that they should reign over them means that they want to believe that, that, that I'm Jesus, the Son of God. That they, that they want to believe that, that I died on the cross. That they want to believe in the Trinity. Kill them, kill my enemies, kill them in front of me. God is love. There is no book that commands the killing of suckling babies, animals, to open the pregnant women, women's stomachs, except the Bible. 1 Samuel 15, 23. This is what the Lord Almighty says, I will punish the, the Amalekites, the Amalekites for what they did to Israel, when they well led them as they came up from Egypt. Now go and attack the Amalekites and totally destroy everything that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put to death men and women, infants, put to death men and women, infants, and cycling, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. Jesus, the God of love, Jesus the terrorist, was the foot of the cattle, was the foot, the foot of the sheep, was the foot of the cycling babies. What wrong did they do? Was the foot of the donkey. Joshua 6.21 And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both men and women, young and old, cattle and sheep, and donkey with the edge of the sword, the commands of the murderer, Jesus. The next Bible verse is about a very interesting story. The Lord Jesus commands Saul. 1 Samuel 15.3 Now go and attack the Amalekites and totally, and totally destroy everything that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put to death men and women, infants and suckling, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. Look at what happened afterwards. First Samuel 15, <coughs> 8, 9 And he took Gog, the king of the Melchites, alive and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. But, there's a surprise here, but Saul and the people spared the Gog and the best of the sheep and of the oxen and of the fatlings and the lambs and all that was good and would not utterly destroy them so Saul did not obey <coughs> he did not obey the Lord Jesus he didn't, he didn't want to kill the, the sheep and the oxen he, did, he didn't want to kill the animals look at the disaster that happened afterwards from the Lord Jesus the killer 1 Samuel 15 8 and 11 then came the Lord the word of the Lord the Lord Jesus then came the word of the Lord unto Samuel saying 
am grieved that I have set up Saul to be king. He regrets that he has set up Saul to be king, for he has turned back from following me and has not performed my commandments. Because Jesus, <coughs> the killer, wanted to, to, to kill the animals, but Saul refused. So Jesus grieved that he has set up Saul as a king. Jesus got upset with Saul because Saul disobeyed Jesus and didn't want to kill the animals. For me, the God who commands the killing of suckling babies, that commands to open the pregnant women's, uh, the pregnant women's wombs and to kill the animals, I think this God must be crazy. Hosea 13:16, the people of Samaria must bear the guilt because they have rebelled against their God. They will fall by the sword. Their infants shall be dashed into pieces and their pregnant women ripped open. This is the God of love, the commands to open the pregnant women's wombs. God is love, love you enemies and kill the pregnant women. Notice here that Jesus is not only commanding the killing of children, but to dash the children in pieces. You feel that this God is crazy. He feels a pleasure in killing and torturing people. And also, he's not, he's not only commanding the killing of the pregnant women, but to open the wombs, to open the pregnant women's stomach. Such a painful death that kills both the mother and the baby. God is love, open the stomach of the pregnant women and dash the children in pieces. Psalms 137 9. Happy is he who takes your infants and dashes them against the rocks. Jesus the terrorist commands the killing of children, suckling babies, women, cows, sheep, cattle, and donkeys. Ezekiel 9.5 As I listened, he said to the others, Follow him through the city and kill and kill and kill without showing pity or or compa compassion, slaughter, slaughter, slaughter old men, young men and maidens, women and children. Ezekiel 9 7 Then he said to them, Defile the temple and fill the courts with the slain. Go. Ezekiel 9 9 The land is full of blood. The God of love, the cannibal God. This is your God. The Bible is the only book that commands the killing of suckling babies, sheep, camels, donkeys to open the pregnant women's wombs. Numbers 31 1 3. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take revenge on the Midianites with the Israelites. Afterward, you will be gathered to your people. So Moses said to the people, Arm, arm some of your men to go to war against the Midianites and to carry out the Lord's revenge on them. Number 317, and they fought again the Midianites as the Lord commanded Moses, and they killed all the males. Numbers 319, and the Israelites took all the women of Midian captives and their children, and took the spoil of all their cattle and all their flocks and all their goods. Number 3110, and they burnt and they burnt all their all the cities love your enemies and burn their cities and they burned all the cities where the Midianites had settled as well as their camps numbers 31 17 now therefore kill all the boys and kill every woman who has slept with a man Deuteronomy 20 10 16 when you when you march up to attack city Make its people an offer of peace. If they accept and open the gates, all the people in it shall be subject to first labor, to first labor and shall, and shall work for you. If they refuse to make peace and they engage you in battle, lay siege to that city. When the Lord your God delivers it into your hand, put to the sword all the men in it. Put to the sword all the men in it. As for the women, the children, the livestock, and everything else in the city, you may take these as plunder for yourselves. And you may use the plunder the Lord your God gives you from your, from your enemies. However, 
in the series of the nations the Lord your God is given you as an inheritance do not leave alive anything that breathes do not leave alive anything that breathes the commands of the terrorist Lord the killer God the Bible is the only book that commands to dash to pieces the babies to open the pregnant women's stomachs to dash the suckling babies on the rocks to kill donkeys <coughs> sheep cows <coughs>